Um, hi, my name is Rachel. I'm from the Teen Arts Path. This is Michaela. Um, we, were, we worked on the council this school year. It was awesome. So in order to be like on the Teen Arts Path Council, we have to attend like 75% of the meetings. We have to uh, attend like six live performances and we have to go to like different performances like as a group. Um, we have to like be an ambassador in our own community as well. So we just need to talk about TAP events like this or just talking to your cousin or your friend about like what it means to be um, going to a show. Some of the projects we worked at at Teen Arts Pass include sketching and producing our own commercials. So we went to Ruth Page Arts Center and filmed uh, discussing our card and its benefits, um, consulting on ways to promote TAP. So we did a panel at the Harold Washington Library led by Tracy Hall and the Joyce Foundation. We find ways to increase teen involvement through TAP and other programs like the ones here. Um, and we increase and improve social media presence, so where we post and when. Finally, we aided in the design of the TAP app, which is coming soon. So basically the layout um, and the graphic designs, everything that we found was important to look at and discuss what would be the most interesting for teens. Right. So um, youth input for programming. We found that the most important thing was mutual respect between adults and teenagers. So when teens go into spaces wanting to learn, we become respectful, like the most respectful people. And it's just um, the trick in really creating uh, an efficient environment for both adults and teens is just creating a welcome environment, an environment where everybody feels heard. And um, it's a gateway for just creating an efficient environment. Youth leadership and growth is another important idea. We decided that teens and young adults have the most space to grow and learn into themselves. And feeling passionate about something is also, um, it's really, okay. It's just like, feeling passionate about something is the most important feeling that like, anyone can really have. You know, when you feel passionate about something, it's um, the gateway. Another thing is open and productive conversations. So opportunities and conversations like this one is really important for adults to understand what goes on in a teen's mind and um, to really like create a productive environment for everyone. So in, in the, we uh, found the ways to make youth spaces comfortable and also the barriers that come with this. So. One we found was being lectured and talked at. So sitting there and being forced to listen to all the things wrong with our generation is like counterproductive to what we're trying to do in our mission. And rather than engaging us, it causes us to shut down. Um, assumptions of knowledge. So adults who presume that we are inexperienced simply because of our age, which is completely not true. <laughs> and as we know, age never means experience. And finally, the depth of connection, or lack thereof. So adults and people who can have connections and get us involved in these spaces, um, open opportunities for us, all of this is super important to get us activated and, in, and include us in these art spaces, as well as staying involved. So some of the comforts that come with um, these barriers is just having accessibility to certain materials and people that can make you feel welcome in an adult space. And representation, like having a council or having like organizations specifically made for teens to voice themselves is really important in this. Um, support systems for teenagers is really important as well because support systems um, just make teens feel more comfortable and welcome in environments and that leads to more effective um, procedures. Have showing strategies to break these barriers. It's just talking to people and having a conversation and having good communication and presentations like this to get over points is 
really important just to talk about solutions to the problems that we face. So encouraging discussion like this in the long run, so having questions like this and having presentations that have um, overworking questions is really important to just encourage long-term discussions at home or with your own teenagers. And in the long run, it just helps future teens and um, teens today to just become the best person they can be because the future isn't that far away. So, thank you.